So my initial interest in Christmas lights started from when I was four and I was taken to the Christmas light switch on in Sutton Town Centre uh, and I was amazed by the Christmas lights. I didn't care for the Santa Claus, the band, the acts, the stage, the performances. All I really wanted to know was where can I get one of these Christmas lights from that was suspended across the road and that led me to researching this topic so much I was pretty much familiar with every single Christmas light manufacturer's back catalogue by when I was nine. I could list you each manufacturer, what they made, where their stuff is in London. And using that fundamental little bit of knowledge, I gained an interest even more into building these things and building bespoke units, because it's all good getting stuff from manufacturers, but what I like is custom. And so that's when, coincidentally, uh, the lights in my local town centre started going downhill. And for about the past five years, I've been disappointed. And last year I said, well, wait a minute, I've got this knowledge, I can do something about it. And so I approached my local councillors, uh, Councillor Trish Fivey, um, who then went on to become the mayor of Sutton, who um, trusted me from the very first minute and took me on board. And she said, you're more than welcome to put forward any ideas you have. And so I collaborated with a group of volunteers that I'd gained from uh, my knowledge in the industry. I'd contacted people when I was younger to get information and all of these contacts were under my belt and I used them and I decided to use them for once and so I got a team of welders, electricians, metal fabricators, um, all sorts of people, even just friends who were literally zipping on lights um, to build this decoration for me. Once I'd built that, I then approached the council saying, can we display it on the town anywhere? And they came back to me saying, it's gonna be hard push, but I think you can get it on the town square and with months upon my months of fighting, a lot of internal resistance from certain council members, uh, we managed to get this up. Uh, and I wouldn't have done it without the seemingly infinite, <laughs> infinite amount of support that the local councillors are giving me. Um, I faced a really difficult time because when I said I can do this for the amount I did, and this is nowhere near a figure anybody would buy this for, I have this quoted. Um, for several larger factories and companies who make Christmas lights to build this for me and they, they were all in the um, thousands of pounds and I built this on a fraction of that and yes you can argue I've, I used volunteers but I thoroughly believe there is a markup a, it's about 700% markup in the Christmas light industry for anything that's built and for a season of goodwill I don't think we should be making any profit and we should be relying on community so it took a while uh, but I'm more than pleased because it's up there now and the amount of people I've seen personally um, in peak hours just stopping by taking photos um, just really warms my heart and I was chatting to some of the business owners and uh, they've been telling me how great it is, how great an impact it's had, how many people are stopping by and that they think it's lovely and that it's something on a new scale for Sutton and something that brings new vision and hope to Sutton and I'm hoping by proving that I can do something like this it will enable me to expand my operations and hopefully decorate several more unlit areas in the local town.